our generation will know that Albert has probably been the single most important figure in our entire industry. And I think people are often misunderstood about what dim sum is. And if there's one thing that Albert has taught me, it's to really look outside of the box. And I think if you use a more holistic view about cuisine and about particular things within cuisine, I think the outcomes uh, can be so much special, more special. And it's actually how all cuisine evolves anyway. Actually, a lot of stuff about my culture I, I was taught and I, I learned um, and food culture I learned um, with the help of people like Mukta. It's, it's very much a, a proactive exercise. It's not osmosis by just being Chinese by default. Um, so that's been an incredible part of, of our journey together. The thing I love about the Chinese cuisine is the rhythm. It's clave. It's, it's a key. Como una sinfonía. It's like a symphony. Even now, um, 10 years after we've opened, we still get a lot of guests when they come for dim sum. They will start complaining, saying that the food is coming too fast, or they say there's too much on the table. Some cuisines are not meant to be eaten with one plate, finish, clear, bring back one plate, clear. It's very much, we, we try to use this phrase, the energy of dim sum. And I think culturally that is a, a language which needs to be communicated and people need to understand. Everyone, thank you.